Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of decomposing fractions. This is standard 4.3b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 18 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got this blank, blank model here. It could be shown to shaded and shaded to represent 7 tenths. Okay, so that's pretty easy. All right, so it looks like this is tenths. It's got two columns of five, so I'm just going to shade this in. So there's my 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths. There we go, 7 tenths. So which expression does not, okay, does not show a way to represent that as a sum of fractions? All right, so we're going to decompose uh, this fraction right here. So I'm going to label this 7 tenths or 0 0.7. Those are the same thing. Okay, so what happens? Well, when we add fractions, remember, we add straight across for the numerator. We do not change the denominator. As long as the denominator is the same, we don't add the denominator. So let me, let me show you why this works. So let's look at f, for example. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to try to draw that same image right here. All right, so there's my tenths, right? So I'm going to do two tenths. Okay, so right there. So there's my two tenths plus another two tenths. All right, so I'm just going to kind of label where my two tenths are. Plus another two tenths. Okay, I'm going to do that up here so I can keep them together. And then one tenth, I'm going to fill in that little hole down there. And look what I've got. The exact same thing. So when you add fractions, you need to make sure the denominator has to be the same but it stays the same all the way across. Now you just add 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 makes 7. Okay, so that 7 tenths, remember, we're not looking for 7 tenths. So that is incorrect. So let's look at G. Okay, so I'm going to do G right here. And we'll see what happens when we add all of these tenths. All right, so I've got four tenths. Oh, that's a big one. All right, so I'm going to do four tenths right here. One tenths, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths. I need that three tenths. I'll do that right here. So that's one tenth. That's two tenths. That's three tenths. Already, it's looking a bit big. And I've got to do the other three tenths. Okay, so I'm just going to have to kind of do like this right here as my last three tenths. That's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths. I shaded in the whole thing. Okay, so look what I've got. All the denominators are the same, so they're all tenths. Four plus three plus three makes ten. Ten tenths equals one whole. So that's not going to work. All right, so we can uh, keep doing that here by drawing the pictures, or we can just use what we know of addition here, right? So look at this, 6 tenths and 1 tenth. So let me just draw this last one. But I think we're starting to kind of understand the pattern here. So look at that, 6 tenths. So I'm going to have to do all of these, and I'm going to grab this one right up here. And that's going to be my six tenths. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths. I got one little tenth left. And look at that, seven tenths. Because the denominator is the same. So six plus one makes seven. And this final one, the denominators are the same, but let's see how many sevens we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's good. So the one we don't want is going to be G, so that's our answer.